Welcome back to my channel. Today we are making some neck bones, easy neck bones. What y'all know about neck bones? When I tell you it's some good eating um, and they're relatively inexpensive. I got these from Walmart. Actually, my husband picked them up. And so the first thing I do is I rinse those neck bones really, really well. You want to clean them off. I always rinse my meat off, my neck bones off. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to finish rinsing them really well. And what I do is just pat dry. Get the excess water off before you season your neck bones. As you can see, once I patted them dry, I'm adding my onion powder, um, some black pepper, all in my strainer. I don't take it out and, and put it in another dish. I keep it down in the sink. I add some lemon pepper. Look, don't knock it until you try it. And some Tony Sachere's Creole seasoning. Um, some people don't like to use accent, but on my neck bones, I do use a little bit of accent. Okay, here I have some bacon grease that I put in my pan. And I am fixing to just lay my, all of the neck bones down into the grease to get a sear. And it's gonna make it like a puzzle to get all of them in there. And it doesn't have to be, you know, perfect. Okay, now that I got them all laid in here, I'm just going to let them hang out until they get a brown on them. And then I'll turn them or stir them before I add my water and my broth in. Okay, these mm -hmm. have been cooking for a minute or two. I'm just going to check one. Got a little bit of crust on there. Right there, you can see. Okay, so let's cook two of them. See what we're looking like. I'm going to leave them down just a little bit longer before I flip them on. Okay, just a quick tidbit I wanted to come in and say in the south down here, when you're using pork, one of the ingredients that we always use is vinegar. So I'm going to show you what I do to my neck bones. These are pork neck bones um, before I put my broth and my water in there. Okay, so I flip these, flip these over. And now I'm going to put a little bit of vinegar into my just a little bit, like so. After I add my vinegar, then I take about two cups of water um, and I pour it over into my pot. Another thing I do is I add my chicken bouillon or beef broth base, whatever you have. Even if you have chicken stock, you can use that as well. Um, but as you can see, I put about a heaping teaspoon of the um, broth base into my um neck bones my pork neck bones and i just let them simmer once they come up to a simmer as you can see here you see how much liquid i have in the pan i'm just going to put my top on it and i'm just going to let it go and don't touch it you just let them cook until they are fall off the bone tender and when i tell you these things are absolutely delicious they are divine so try them out and see if you like them make sure to like comment share and subscribe if you like what you're seeing i hope you all have a wonderful day